Hello everyone, welcome to Somebody's Got to Do It. This is Kamal Mahako. And as usual, we're going to be int interviewing a very interesting guest. On this program, we look at different jobs. We go into the behind the scenes aspects of the job. We talk about the nitty gritty of the job, how and why and when and all of those questions, right? We want people to understand what really goes on. When you wake up in the morning and you go to your job, the things that you have to do, um, most people, the average person wouldn't understand what certain jobs entail. And so that's why we're having these series of interviews. So persons who are in the professions, in the trade, right, can come and enlighten us about these particular professions. So today we are speaking to a veteran photographer. His name is Nicanor Grant. You are going to enjoy listening to him. I, I know him as Kenny and um, I've known Kenny for many, many years. I actually, when I was in journalism, when I was writing for the Sunday Herald newspaper way back in the day, Kenny was one of the photographers who was working at the Sunday Herald. And that's how I met him. So he's going to tell you about his um, life in photography from those early days, right? Because when I met Kenny, he was already deeply involved in photography and he is still taking those superb shots. So I'm going to introduce you now to him and he's going to tell you about how he got started. All right, so welcome, Kenny, Mr. Nicanor Grant. Welcome to the program. Yeah, thank you. Come on. Yes. Um, I, I would prefer to say Nicanor. <laughs> okay, so yeah. it's pronounced Nicanor. Right. Nicanor? That's a okay. matter of pronunciation. Okay. And you know, I always, I always have it as Nicanor. So that's the yeah. first that's the first lesson I'm learning today. Nicanor. Yeah. But yeah. I am just you're just gonna hear me say Kenny, because that's how I know okay. you. As no Kenny. problem with that. No. Um, is that what most persons call you in the right? Day? Yeah, yeah. Most persons call you Kenny, yeah. right? Yeah, right, yes, man. All right. So you want to tell us how old you are and how long you've been a photographer? Well, in a in a month, a little over a month, I'll be sixty and nine. You'll be 69 yeah. in okay, going on. May. In May, you'll be 69. June, 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 the first half of June. That's oh, the first, the first half of June. June? Okay. Yeah. yeah, so you're you're getting up there. You're almost as old as I am, Kenny. How <laughs> long have you been in photography? Well, I've been doing photography from as far back as 1973. I started okay. learning photography in those days. Um, it more it used to be me in the black and white to do it, and you would have yeah. to, yeah, you know. The what first thing I started out doing, doing was, huh? yeah, the black and white we call that the vintage now, but back in the day, that was all there was, right? Me, basically, yeah, um, yeah. Do you um, remember who, who taught you? was the first one who introduced you to the photography? Yes, I, I certainly does. Um, the, the, there's this man that used to work at JBC. His name mm -hmm. is Ian Edwards. Mm -hmm. Yes, he used to have a little studio at Brentford Road, um, Retirement Road, Brentford Road. And I used to work at Bruce's, and he used to come there. And when Bruce's closed mm -hmm. down in... March 1973, and I was not doing anything. He just one day he just asked me, said, "Would you like to learn photography?" And he said, "Yes." And he brought me to his place and started teaching me. The first thing I started to learn to do was to mix chemicals. The car in those days you had to mix your chemicals and then all things like that before you started touching even a camera. So those were the days when you had um, the actual 
film on the yeah. release, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, so film, it's yeah. Not, film. It's not the digital cartridge. Cartridge. The cartridge, right? And yeah, you have right. to actually go and put it in a in a dark room. Yes. You have to take it to the photo studio for them to develop it. No, well, if if it if it was color, but if it, the black and white, you most photographers used to have their own dark room. Oh, so you had your own dark room. You knew how to develop the. Yeah, film. The, the, the person had his dark room, and he, he, that's where you started to learn to. Because the first thing you have to learn to do is to. You had to roll the film, take out this film out of the canister, mm -hmm. and roll it onto a spool and yeah. put it into a can, the, develop, the, the developing can. And you have to do all that in total darkness. You have, yeah. have to make sure everything was in place before you switch off the light because there is no turning on back the light. Just everything will be okay. About yeah. how long would that process take for it to develop? And well, to load a, a roll would take you, um, when you get accustomed to it, it would take you, I mean, a few minutes, like, Sometimes you could do it in two minutes, three minutes, and then put it in the can, lock down the can, and then you throw in the Bare chemical. Foot. Okay, so um, yeah. when you play the, the shot, and then now you're going to develop the negative, I remember we used to call it the negative, right? How long would that process take? Well, it, it also depends on because you have different kind of chemicals that you could use to develop different kinds of um, your time. You, 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 it depends on what you were shooting and what you were, oh you, what you, oh you were shooting, and you, you could time say from nine, ten, twelve minutes, fifteen minutes mm -hmm. in the developing can. It depends. It, it okay. depends on what you want to get. When you develop your film. And back then you used to take um photos for just average persons in the community or you used to take Yes, yes, from... yes. And and you used to work in the studio and people would come and take passport pictures and all that. And... Kenny, could you hold the phone so we could see your full face? I'm only seeing the bottom part of your face now. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, that's better, right? I remember when I was growing up, um, the the photographer would come probably like once a week. You you know, like he would come on a Sunday. Yeah. You would get yourself ready and like if if you wanted or if your your parents wanted to take pictures, it's something you had to plan for. It's something you had to prepare for, and then you would gather around and take a portrait, and it wasn't a it wasn't a um regular thing. Nowadays, everybody just back out their cell phone and you take all one one hundred <laughs> pics and you choose what you want and you delete what you don't want. Um, back in yeah. the day, you had to basically take what you get because <laughs> if it come back and your eyes close, yes, or, or lights um flickering through your eye or some whatever the the the, the um madness was going on you basically just had to take what you get yeah well let me tell you at that photography was more a challenge than at that time than now you had to be you had to know what you're doing yeah i mean because there was no seeing anything you see i yeah i, I remember I, had, I used to visit homes people would say come sunday afternoon at two o'clock and mm -hmm. Take some pictures of the children and things. Thing. When you do, when you finish taking them, you you were never ever um, relaxed until you develop because most times you don't. You're you not don't sure right. of what you have in your camera. Mm -hmm. And nowadays you can't even look at it before it's even saved. Yeah, and, and you choose you know you choose yeah. which ones you want. Even, yeah. even if you go to the photo studio now to take a portrait, they'll show you all the options and you choose the ones that you want to develop. So, yeah. 
And sometimes it's a bit annoying as you take a shot, people. Let me see it, let me see it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but then they just had to take it or leave it. <laughs> right. Yeah. You, and thing. When and you I go remember. on an assignment and come back, mm -hmm. you pray and pray till you pick. Because you, until the filming is developed, mm -hmm. you're not certain of what you have. Of what it is, right. Yes. So when did you get into um, the media, you know, taking pictures? That's, that's when, when I knew you, that's what you were doing. Um, yeah. Working, working at the Sunday Herald, right? Yeah, well. How did you get um, into the media? Well, way back. Um, in the seventies, the coming up, a lot of um, you used to have a lot of advertising agencies and and things like um, people who do those promotions and whatever um, uh, for for report and thing for companies and thing and you used to there were quite a few advertising agencies and communication houses that used to you know be pro be hired by the even say even like say water commission the the the, the major um stores and thing mm -hmm. they they used to have their communication agents who report things for them like and you used to get assignments to go all over all over the right. country yeah and that's that's another thing so it opens you up to it exposes you to a lot of different sections of society because you would be covering stories in the inner city you'd be covering stories uptown you'd be covering stories in the corporate right and i'm sure kenny that you've met a lot of people over the years, you know, in this job, it certainly does. I know yeah. I, because okay, there was a you might when I used to work doing like like stage shows. There's hardly a uh, artist who's who's an artist that I have not met and worked with. Right, even like in the seventies, come up to even in the eighties. Yeah, I've been to stage shows, stage shows, stage shows. Mm -hmm. And all that, a lot of them, um, all, all over, all over, because there weren't many photographers around even at that time. Yeah. And you, you understand? So right now, I'm going to show our viewers some of the photos that you shared with me, Kenny. And I'm, I'm going to. I know that. Um, Especially now, your focus now is horse racing. Is that so? That's your main. Well, I mostly work at Cayman as part now. I work with um, Hassman, Hassman yeah. Photo, Marvin right. Peterson. He's the main person photographer over there that does photo photographs for the various connections like the trainers, jockeys, grooms, mm -hmm. owners, and all that. All right. So we're going to share this. Have... Mm -hmm. Of Go course, ahead. you have um, media media photographers, but he's the main photographer over here. Okay. So I'm going to share with our viewers, you know, Kenny shared some some of his photo, photography that he has done. Um, these are mainly the ones with, with the horses, right, that came on a spark. And um, so that's Kenny there with his heavy-duty equipment. Well, I would call it heavy-duty equipment because my little camera look like something flimsy compared to this. Well, you see, some guys with some cameras would, would make this look like a toy. And, uh, well, I can imagine. So, Kenny, when you're like... Um, on the, like, look at this picture now. How would you capture a picture like this, this with all the horses? You have to be running beside the, the, no, the horses. Not, not at all. You, you, you are at a spot because mm -hmm. this this shot was taken at the coming up to the right at the last turn mm -hmm. before the horses come up this straight. The home stretch, yeah. 
Yeah, if you notice, the rail is coming around. Yeah. There's a curve coming. So just before they straighten up. So I am way over on the left hand of them. So the lens can pick them up quite. Okay, so you just position yourself. Yes. Um, and then what you zoom in or you have yes, to zoom? zoom and you, you when I, I I I take mostly like 10, 15 shots mm -hmm. of any in a race when yeah. I'm at that position. The car and it's mainly on the home stretch. Yes. Once I used to work at the winning post, but um certain so little challenges that may have with mostly me me eye and thing. Mm -hmm. it, I can't move so fast up at the winning post, but okay. I, I enjoy working down there. I get the more exciting photos down there. Though. Wow, look at this one, Kenny, where I mean, you can see it's like you're looking at the muscles in the horse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, you just capture the, the movement of the horse and the jockey. Yeah. And and I'm sure the spectators are alive, you know, with with um, excitement. Yes, the, the people who buy them, they, 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 they always love them. And mm -hmm. they, they, they give me a lot of ratings for some photos that we take on the other cards, you know? These are beautiful, Kenny. I love these. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's really a challenge down there. It, it, mm -hmm. It's exciting to take the horses galloping fast. Fast, yeah. And I think there was one. Um, so this is Kenny posing. This is at Kemana's Park, right? Let yeah. me go back because I wanted you to walk me through. So um, what's happening here? Who are these people? And I see oh. you here in the midst of it. All. What's happening here? Yes, if you look, you might see some familiar faces there, like Rowan and Rowan Daly, um, Clarky from Glean, and mm -hmm. quite a few media. So these are media. Okay, so these are the media personnel mainly. Yes. Okay. Um, one, one day, um, it was uh, uh appreciation day for media owls, personnel and. And photographers who oh, have been at the okay. track for quite a while. It, it was put on by Andrew Azar. He was mm -hmm. the um, board chairman at Kimmons Track Limited at that time. And just before um, um, Supreme Ventures came in. Okay. So, you, you, um, yeah. So this is you are receiving. Yeah, yeah. He, he gave us a gift, and you know, appreciate. Right, for all your years of work. And who is this, Kenny? Um, Kenny and Winston. Oh, that's Winston Griffiths there. Oh, that's a jockey. Yes, a a a a former champion jockey. Who, yeah, that's I, a name that that's I used to hear from way back in the day, Winston Griffiths. Yeah, not really way, way, way back. He mm. stopped riding maybe um, less than less than 10 years, but he is the person who is one of the most popular jackies ever. He, he yeah, man, I know I always hear that name. When Guinness Book of Record jackies yeah. was one of the Caribbean winning as Jackie mm. and uh, mo most Record Guinness Book of Record as the the jockey that has won the most derbies in the whole world. Wow! Most classic races and all that. Yes, that's it. Yeah. So they're they rubbing shoulders shoulders with the, the royalty and horse racing is called the, the 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 sport of kings, right? Right. Yeah. So you're definitely rubbing shoulders with royalty, there, Kenny. Yeah, I've met a lot of because some person that um are involved. In horse racing, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even know. Some of the bigger That's heads that they, they like keep a, a low profile. Yeah, you rub people with like um, Dan Webby, mm. who is a popular owner. Um, 
um, Michael Bernard, who was the big man at Carreras, one of the, you know that. Mm. And people like those, you know, walk up and down and talk to them and shake and with them and the right. A lot of, lot of people. So this is what so we're you, looking at now, Kenny. This was a, a winning. This was a, this was a, this the, the last year's running of the, the St. Ledger. Mm -hmm. No, not the St. Um, the, was it the St. Yeah, the St. Ledger. Yeah, St. Ledger. This horse is a horse by the name of Blue Vinyl. Okay. And I was back, it's like I was backing him that day. If you notice me in the background, there are all decked out in blue. Kenny, Kenny this, one look like you, this one look like you, you put a million dollars on this one and him win, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was backing him to win. And yeah, that, very, that smile know? on his face yes, that looks yes. like you're about to go come some. Because, even even among some friends who I told that he couldn't lose and all that. I was very excited. Okay, it shows excited, it? wow. So look at this one now. This what the, the um the jockey fell off the horse. Yes, there's a point that I take when the because you have some of the races that is are that are run straight from straight down the track. Mm -hmm. Um instead of coming around the, the corner. Oh the so the whenever I there's a straight race, there's a certain point that I see. If you notice, this is what this one is from the right hand side. Yeah. As, so and it just happened that this accident fell just happened right before my eyes. Oh wow. Right. I'm sure he was in pain. <laughs> Below, because there's a little stand that I climbed up on to I climb up onto to take the photograph. Yeah. And it's it was just below me. So what happened to the horse and the, the jockey? I mean, well, the horse was badly hurt. I think the horse broke a leg and went down. And the, if you notice, it's two shots in the center. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, think. I saw two shots of it. Yeah, one when when it was just going down and right. the other one when... But... um. So when something like this happens, Kenny, the horse is able to run again, or they put him down. No, 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 no. They, they mostly usually put down the horse, euthanize. Oh yeah. And the jockey, what, what, what can do? You remember what kind of injuries? Well, I, luckily, you know, no, there was the jockey was. You see, the track is a uh, is is like. It it is it has a thick layer of sand and most times when the jackies fell it unless the horse like maybe fall on them or oh. hit them with 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 a hoof or so they okay. mostly never get any okay bad injury. Okay, so these are these are some of the the main content. I saw them call them Kenny, the main content. <laughs> Uh, this says two furlongs to run and hovercraft makes a crippling move outside. Yeah, yeah, yes, it was just a. Uh, uh, you did this caption? No, I, I know that. It, it, Osman okay. captioned it and gave yeah. Okay. And what's happening here? If you know what it, if you know what, it was a. Uh, 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 one of the big races last year that was won by the the a horse here them called um Atomica. Okay. Yes, if you notice some of the faces in that, because the breeder is like this is a you know notice this is the minister there. Um, yeah, I see the minister. Yeah, he is the breeder for that horse. Okay. And and the owner is Dan Webby, who is also in the photo. Mm -hmm. And the jockey, which is the end jockey, which is with which, which eventually ended up as the champion jockey last year, and the trainer here is Sobrati and other other. Yeah, you have, a, you have a handful of female jockeys. Um. Yes. There's um more, about about five or so, or four riding currently. Okay. Who is this, Kenny? 
That's the, the champion jockey. For last Dane year. Dane Darkin. Yeah. Okay. Dane Darkin. Yeah. And that's Kenny again. Yeah. And it's, you know, sometimes you get a lucky and did shot because the person who took those. Right. Uh, <laughs> so the photographer, take a pick, a pick of the photographer. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So you guys do that to each other often, like you're on the job with yes, other media yes, personnel. Yeah, sometimes you see a guy doing another interview and, and are not certain. Maybe I'll take a photo and send it for you, man. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, what are the, what are some of the perks, Kenny? The, 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 tell me some of the benefits from being a photographer, or and especially being in the media. Well, it, it's it's quite um satisfying to see a photograph and can claim that. It was you who shot it, and you know, right? Like especially, in anything especially else, especially when it made the headlines, don't it? Yes, and when people love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have photos that are just ordinary, but sometimes you have some exceptional shots that people. Um, I have even more than what I've sent you. A lot more. Yeah, um, man. Like, I know you have yeah. lots yes, and lots because, and lots. I mean, with all the years, yes, from in the seventies. That's, yeah. that's See, and I've been at Cayman as from, from um it could nearly 30 years now. Mm -hmm. At Cayman as Park. Yeah, and working with all, the same person. In all is 40 odd years you've been in this industry. Right? So yeah. you you would literally have well, hundreds, I, well you, maybe you, even thousands. You could say 50 years, you could say yeah. 50, because 73 till now. From 73, right, exactly yeah. 50 years. Yeah. So yeah, so it's a big thing, Kenny. It's a big, big thing. Yes. Even, <laughs> yeah, man. Even more, Fifty even years more, in, the, in the industry. Huh? No, I'm saying that's a big accomplishment. That's a major thing. Fifty years yes. in the industry. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. And even though even you have not become a millionaire out of it, you have worked and actually um with because I've done record um photographs for artists that um for lp covers mm -hmm. and even weddings shows right so and you still like do that. those things you still do um wedding packages and yeah that kind of stuff right yes, it, it's not like one time when you use when you could get weddings and parties every week though because photographer photography Mm -hmm. Photographers are a dime a dozen now, and yeah, because just about everybody, has, yeah, a lot of guys access. have cameras, and mm -hmm. you know, it's it you, you can't even charge a lot of money, right? Because of the competition, because you can get um, you can get down, down, oh, um. You know, oh, people. Yeah, but but even the people them, I mean, the average person just back out them phone. Yes. They yes, just back actually. out them phone camera and zoops, you know. Yes, but I mean, sometimes I attend to, um events and just carry the camera and take photographs and sell some pictures, but because them yeah. know that there's not too much that mm -hmm. the phone can okay the phone so photographer said, can produce and think yeah like so the phone camera. has its limitations as a as yes. you as a professional photographer right yeah um so in your mind what are some of the limitations that the phone would have that 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 you as a professional yeah, so would be able to a lot of them are much more advanced than when they just started coming in and because it, like the megapixel would be so limited on the phone that if you try to make a print mm -hmm. uh, or an enlargement particularly it would yeah. pixelate and all that and you wouldn't get a good picture it, it, it will lose the quality yes right 
a lot of so, green. Right. So what are some of the features, like the camera that you had, um, that we saw you with in the in the pics? What are some of the features of that camera that allow you to do your job efficiently? I know you well, have the zoom and the, you know, all of that, but what, what yeah. other stuff is it have? Um, the, the ability for, to take a lot of shots quickly. Quickly, okay. Rapid. Yeah, rapid. yeah, rapid. Yeah. What you call that? Speed. Well, made I think. Um, rapid like shooting. Speed, uh, rapid shots. Ra okay. Yeah. You can take. You can take. Um, uh, quite a few Frames. shots. Yeah. In. Yeah. In. In a few seconds. seconds. Yeah. And you definitely need that for the kind of work where you do. Yes. Dealing with horses and and, and, they, and have, uh, they, they have the feature like for sports, you can right. you set it, the settings that you put you set for fast actions and all that. Um, yeah, because I can imagine those photographers. I mean, during the Olympics, for example, Kenny, we see people take pics and videos of the photographers running. It's as if they're putting out the same energy as the the sprinters. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the footballers, I mean, they I have. You remember that like, famous one of a photographer trying to run down ball? Right. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's almost as if he has to be putting out the same kind of effort yes, and, yes. And, and skill. <laughs> and wow. some of these um, photographers, they have been at it so long, it's almost like they have become athletes themselves. You have to say that. Yeah. You know? And then you have, have you ever gone on like a covert operation, Kenny, where, you know, you know, you know that these pigs might get people into trouble or, you know, them kind of mission where you go up and I, maybe you shouldn't even be there, but you want to break a story. You ever go on a mission like that as a photographer? Well, not, not very often, but I've, um, been to uh, I've been to scenes that I'm um, like even crime scenes are oh yeah situations like that and sensitive would, and delicate and you, you, you would have a challenge getting close to take a good shot and yeah or what whatever whatever they don't sometimes they don't want you to take uh, you you ever take a candid of someone and maybe submit it and it come out in the papers and the person really have you know resent that or try to cause problems for you submitting that pick of that candid pick of them if, if you take a uh, candid of someone let, let's say in public kenny and you get a real nice candid shot a human interest shot right you tend to ask people for permission or you just go ahead and submit it well, you see, being in the in this in the field for a while, you start to have an idea of what to take or what not to take. Yeah, you and, use your discretion, right? Yes, and you know yeah. what would be ideal and are not fit for publishing also, you know. Yeah. Well you know some I people never, are I, I can't remember anybody ever, eh? Yeah, uh, both, the, both the photographer and the public tend to be sensational. They, they love the sensational stories, right? Yeah, they love yes. the gory stuff. They love the expose kind of stuff, right? And that kind of thing sells, to be honest. Yes, yes right? right. So some of the photographers, I would imagine, they would love to get that kind of shot, to run with it. Yes. But as yeah. you're saying, you really have to use your discretion as a professional yeah. photographer, right, Kenny? Yes. Yeah, because you have to put yourself yeah. in other people's you remember, you, 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 you remember that event over at the Art Academy when <laughs> Prime Minister PJ Patrice was there and he was, and he collapsed? I don't recall personally. You never hear of it? I mean... Probably, but it's just not coming he, he, to me. He, yes. He, mm -hmm. uh, well, some some persons came to me and said, please, please, please don't publish that picture. In right, because it's a sensitive thing. 
Yeah, yes. Thank yeah. you, man. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, so it's a profession where you really have to use your judgment. Right. Mm -hmm. You have to use your judgment. Um, but having been in it for 50 years, you know, I am sure over the years you hone that skill and you know how to treat the delicate yeah. matters. And sometimes you get some real revealing shots that can you remember even the Great and Seven thing there. Yes, I, I remember I that. I got into yeah. the, the place and got some real, real graphic photographs. Even after the but the bodies of the men were removed and all that. Yeah. Um some there were some terrible scenes in there and I remember I got some photographs in there, Miss and there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they were really, really frightening. Yeah, I definitely remember that incident. I mean, Kenny, I was I think about a year ago or two years ago, I was I wanted to to do some clips, some video clips of um just journeying. So for for example, from Portmore to Halfway Tree, from wherever to wherever, right? And I was in Halfway Tree just filming. And some guys come up to me and say, hey, it's like they must say, boy, you know, I have no permission for filming. And I said, what is the offer to me? They want me permission. But I got the sense that certain places, you can't go there and just start pointing your camera. Yes, well, yeah, right. Because I remember even covering an election the thing, and when they went, when they went certain places, they would say, look here. No, no camera for me. No. Right. And I, yeah, man, I have been told. And you don't say, all right, boss, and all them things. But, yeah, I mean, I would expect something like that, like if we're going at the inner city, you know, the, 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 the garrison, I would expect yeah. for people to tell me, boy, you have to be careful. But me never expect that in an awful tree. Right. Yeah. And but but I've been to, know, this I've been to places like well. dance. Mm. Like dance and dances and all that and punks and um, shows and you, you have a group of guys and him, no turn no camera over your saying no no photo I have some man yeah. where they are them place them, you know yes so it's, it's and the thing brilliant. is that most yes. time from them see you with cameras and all that and all them take you for whether or not mm -hmm. they might want to take you for your with a media person right and that's the thing they respond differently to the media cameramen yeah it's like it's like once they know that this is you're, you're with the media yeah they will allow or they might even put on a show for yeah. you they will yeah. go they will become extra and and you know go overboard with it but you know or me know as a just a regular while in some of them are afraid yeah just a walk with my camera you know a yeah couple of the guys come up to me and say um where i do <laughs> yeah man. i mean it never stopped me still but it really yeah. kind of surprised me yeah yeah, yeah. being halfway tree and for people i said why well, you have to mind where i put put the camera yes you know yes so, so i mean what are some of the negative things, Kenny, about the job over the 50 years? What's the worst thing that has happened to you on the job? Well, work on can get to you know, so you know, that come to my mind, <laughs> Kenny, is like, when you say that, I go say. <laughs> yeah, because, let me tell you something. People will oh love photographs, but they don't really love PA for photographs. You know? Yeah. They don't really... Um, People, a person will put on a, a function or and thing, and then spend money for food and whatever, whatever else, and lick and thing, and you, you take the photographs. And the, you are the person who record, and you, that's a, you are the only person who's going to remind them in 10 or 20 years of what. Yeah, because and, you're capturing and still the moment. Here, yeah. 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 You're capturing the moment and yeah. you're taking it from the right angle, you know, of the line of the shot. You know how to capture it and it's like they wanted to donate it. Well, it's not even 
to know how to capture it. It's just to him to have it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And all that. And people, people, people will don't want to pay you. Yeah. Like, me, 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 sometimes, hey, me, me, go, me, me, do a, me do that funeral for a lady one time. After me fix up this nice album and thing and carry it to her, she asked me, she said, me never get a photo with her husband at the cop man. She said, nah, pay me for it. Really? I put me on her face up. Really? Yes. So who in the case? <laughs> <laughs> she has to pay me, man. So did so did you talk beforehand what exactly? I mean, a long, long, long me wait for her, man. And she, in time, she, she and told you exactly what she wanted beforehand. Well, no, them not gonna stipulate and tell you what. But so how the she thing is that I reached there when I reached there, the coffin was closed and all that. Because normally me would take mm-hmm. a photo like that, but it's just. It, Unfortunately, we never get one of that because, and some people don't want that photo either. Yeah. So, so did that? Did you learn a lesson from that? Say you have to make sure to find out from people exactly what they want. Or, or well, you just not necessarily to find out what they want, but make sure so you cap, you get that. You start, you'll be there from early that you can get mm. everything. Yeah. <laughs> that, is one of the, that is one of the things you learn. Be, mm-hmm. When you get an assignment, be there early. Yeah. You want to answer that and ask them to call back? Eh? Oh, that no. was your phone ringing? No, no. Okay. Sometimes some messages come up at times. Okay. Yeah, man. So, how, so you, you plan to retire from this, Kenny? Mm, yes, yes, really, yes. No, sir. Um, as long as I can see, I move. It's nice to be, to be able. To, it, it's it's just nice to be able to take some good photographs. Yeah. Because now I tell you, so you see, the, uh, me get a lot of even if you don't get a lot of money, as me tell you, the, me get no props up to. Yeah. And the connections yeah. that you've made, yeah, yeah, you know, the people that you've met, and yeah. just the experience, just being at the places and and capturing those moments, right? So, in your in your space, Kenny, in your private home space as a photographer, you have like lots of um pictures framed on the wall, pictures that remind you of special moments in your career? Well, um, um, you have photo albums that you look through and remind you of some special well, moments? I, I, there's, there's, I, I, I'm going to tell you the story, but it's very, very, very unfortunate. And um, it pains me sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but some albums that may had with some real vintage Photo, fo- photos and all kind of, I mean, af- many, and I lost them to a situation that I really won't really want to relate, but okay. It, anytime I remember it, it just it, break your heart. Yeah, I've lost a lot because yeah. sometimes um, there's this this record producer, personal woman, no one, say, sometimes say, Kenny, you should have even Marvin tell me so sometimes. He said you should have a catalog because every artist, every, all in the 70s from the start, from I was able to u- use a camera because I used to use cameras that you have to hold down on your waist or so and look to yeah, yeah. Them, them kind of cam- and all the and all them things and every artist and you still show that anywhere around town. I'm there capturing all the all pictures of all the one love concert with Bob Marley I will up all the right of stage front I'll take photo with him and Manley and see Oh and see my them. Yeah, man, I'm photo them, man. Oh my goodness I you could have those now for be showing your grandkids in Kenny. 
Yeah, man. And show and sharing with us as well, you know. Yeah, man. Every artist, because yeah. all them times when artists are walking on a tech bus and all them things, then you, you, you capture all artists all about the road. Mm -hmm. No, 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 call, no. Call no, some no. name, Kenny. Call some yeah? names. So like who and who. Why am I going to tell you something? From Bob Marley to Lyde Parks to Jimmy uh, Riley to, to Dennis Brown. Yeah, I'm mean, Dennis Brown. Well, when I Dennis Brown famous album named Visions, I think that is why. I, I mean, take the photo in the river up a whoop river there with him. When him just an uh, up and all them things. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, man. We're not an artist, yeah, man. Like, so you get but, credit for them picture there, Kenny. You get credit and royalty for them picture there. Get what? Yeah, so. Them day they live nothing. I didn't, I didn't even get paid for the photo when you take it. That's all. Okay, okay. Well, that's all. I mean, it, not even artists that get credit and royalty. Yeah. Them, right? <laughs> <laughs> them time they just take a picture and uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I <hate> that. I, <laughs> Yeah, so, no, so nowadays, do you take any extra step to secure your um, creative rights for your picks? Yes, and you try to keep them um, stored. Yeah. That you won't lose them so easily, you know? So, typically Even if you don't have a lot of hard copies, but you have the soft copies and all. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll think that. All um, 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 my guy, the last show that him did over, was, uh, and it was over at Caymanas Park, you know. Um, um, so, sure. uh, um, Paragon did that. Uh, ah, my name, the man. I can't help well. you coming in over here. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, so much artists, yeah, you, you, you give me a clue, so give me a clue, no, no ring no bell. Um, um, so the last show I did before him died was at Cayman as far. Um, so and and I just tune this now, not the name, the kind of name would I just roll out and made that. Yeah, I said, go man. yeah, man. So, like, if you What's want, that? if people want to contact you, you know, if they're having an event as a photographer, they want to contact you. You want to um, tell them where they can find you? Or yeah. you want to give out your number? Yeah, man. So go I ahead. 858-7981. can find me on Facebook. I always publish a lot of things on Facebook. And, Say the number again, um, Kenny. 858-7981. All right, and and on Facebook is Nikanor. You say it's Nikanor. Yeah. N i c a n o r. Nikanor yeah. Grant. Yeah. And Grant the email Grant. email address is Nikanor Grant one o two at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. So this is a this is a a gentleman who has been in the photography industry for fifty years, half a century. When some of you guys don't even born yet, right. this, this this gentleman has been in the field taking pics, sharpening his skills. So right now he's a professional, he's an expert, he's a veteran. So if you have any events and you want to make sure that it is covered in a professional way by someone who has the discretion and has the experience and has the skill to capture your beautiful moments. Just look for Kenny, Nikanor Grant on Facebook, and yeah. you heard the number, you heard the email, just contact him and he'll, he'll give you a wonderful package. I worked with Kenny. I don't, I don't know how many years we were together at the Herald. You were, you were freelance at the Herald, Kenny? Right, yeah, right, right. Freelance. Um, for a number of years. So this is somebody who I've known for a while. <laughs> right, The Sunday Herald is no longer in existence. So I can vouch for the quality. And you saw some examples of it. Um, we went through the some of his catalog on the screen. 
You can always watch over the video and look at his work. Expert job. Ken, I'm really grateful that you took the time out to come share with us today. And, you know, I want to wish you, I, I, I'd love to wish you 50 more years. You say you don't plan to retire, so. <laughs> yeah, man, thank you, Cam. It was a pleasure talking with yeah. you. And, uh, so 50 more years of I, photography. I appreciate the, the, the invitation to yes. chat with you and all that. Yes, so, and I'm going to be talking to some of your brethren in the media too. Roy yeah. Sweetman, for example. You know Roy? Yeah. I'm going to be chatting with Roy. He has been in the industry for 30 odd years too. Um, yeah. yeah, so we, we really want to talk to the different professionals and see what it's like behind the scenes and the things that the regular people, people don't even think about that's that's the whole idea of this right yes thanks again ken and uh, we'll we'll touch base okay Cam. and i hope you're still in, in celebrating your birthday oh yes <laughs> oh yes for the rest of the month <laughs> uh, yeah right okay yeah, all right you. take care kenny all right